May 2012, the heads of state of the world great powers are at Camp David for the G8 summit. President Obama declared to the audience that food security and the promotion of agriculture in Africa will be one of the major challenges of the 21st century. Currently, 70% of Africans are working into the informal sector. Most of the time, these are small farmers. Without financial and technical resources, farmers struggle to generate income from their activity. Based on these facts, the Interprofessional Association called FCP decided to organize during the European Development Days a high-level panel entitled Small Farmers, Big Business, which are summarized in this report. Small producers are key links into the food chain and can cause with large farmers. In Africa, small farmers who provide 80% of the sub-Saharan food need for agricultural development, irrigation and roads, as well as better market organization and access to technology. The question of balance between small and big farmers is crucial, according to Dr. Mohamed Ibn Chambas, the ACP Secretary General. But to ensure that there's a balance, the bulk of uh, African farmers now are small-scale producers. And so we have to have approaches that tackle their needs and their requirements to ensure that technology is able to impact on them, that they are able to have inputs, that they are able to have improved methods of agriculture, but uh, at the same time recognizing that there can be a role for large private sector which will have an opportunity indeed to engage in some of this transfer of technology, some of the training, uh, some of the supply of uh, inputs to outgrowers and other small uh, producers who can in that process indeed come to benefit. The small farmers can be more competitive than big farmers as confirmed by Apollo Unwa, member of the Kenyan agricultural exporters. If we build capacity within uh, a, a cooperative point of view, which increases bargaining power for farmers, which already they are able to pull resources together. Um, one farmer is very weak, but 10 farmers, 30 farmers, 50 farmers then starts forming a, a larger um, business unit that can engage with any business to deliver products as required to engage with any business to uh, meet standards, to uh, form a, 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 a pool of skills which can be tapped and which can also be used to uh, uh, build capacity in the sense of uh, getting the underst a proper understanding on what market requires or on uh, any other topics that may exist. And one of the best examples is once they've already pulled resources and once they're already in, in such kind of uh, setup, then it also creates another business opportunity for uh, other players to come in, such as uh, banks for uh, loans or for uh, even banking situations, uh, insurances coming in because it's already a, a, a business that can have uh, very uh, effective turnovers that uh, any, any banking uh, business can look at. The development of small farmers, therefore, passed through a north to south transfer of technology. For many years, SNV, the Dutch Corporation Services, provide technical assistance. Yeah, um, farmers, small farmers usually face a couple of problems. And one is the lack of access to, uh, to resources, is the, ex the lack of uh, capacities, the lack of access to markets. We don't have resources in the sense of financial transfers, but we can help farmers and farmer collectives to develop their own capacities to produce quality products, to produce it in time, in huge quantities, so better productivity, and to get it to markets, and to get access to markets, to strengthen their position, their competitive position within markets vis-a-vis -vis the corporate sector. And on the other hand, I mean, uh, uh, um, yielding the produce which is needed to feed a growing population. A growing population which is to a large extent living in cities. So the people in cities don't grow their own food. So they are dependent on an increasing stream of produce which is brought from the farm to the, uh, to the cities. So we help farmers and farmer groups to address that issue. The first results are here. However, the road is still long to ensure food security. 
and particularly in Africa by 2050. Global food production have to be increased by 60% to meet the demand from a growing African population.